So Sam, you've got a bit of a problem with one of your orchids. What's happened to your Phalaenopsis? Well, I think possibly I haven't looked after it very well. The leaves are cracked, mm -hmm. quite severely. Mm -hmm. um, and the interesting bit, the flower, well, it's stopped flowering and I'm not entirely sure what to do next. Okay, well, the great thing about Phalaenopsis is that they will flower again if you cut them back and treat them right. So just quickly, this is a really good, just to rub it in, this is a really good looking Phalaenopsis, obviously. So this is what this one did look like. And gradually the flowers die back and you're left with this. And to be honest, the cracks on the leaves aren't too much of a problem. But if you look down the stem, can you see that there are little buds here and there? Yeah. And those buds or leaf scales are where you can cut the stem back to and then it will send out another flower shoot. So the best thing to do is to come down the stem and see where it starts to become green again and then cut back to a live healthy bud like that one. Um, and as far as the leaves go, really, dust them, wipe them with some just some water on some um, kitchen towel, wipe the dust off because it is a little bit dusty. Uh, and then the other thing about it is, can you see that this plant is growing? It's very dry for a start, all that loose compost. But um, can you see it's growing in a plastic, clear plastic container? Mm. So that allows light through to the aerial roots, which is really important. So I would say this needs a good plunge in some water, in some tepid water in the um, kitchen sink, just to rehydrate all that dry compost. Leave it on the draining board to stand, uh, to drain all the excess water out, and then repeat that every couple of weeks and your plant will stay in much better condition because I think I know what you've been doing with this. You've been dribbling a little bit of water in the top every so... You're smiling. <laughs> you've been dribbling a little bit of water. Come on. <laughs> Confess. You've indicted my housekeeping <laughs> skills and now you're indicting my <laughs> plant keeping skills. So the key thing is, don't dribble water in the top. This goes for all houseplants really, because you'll leave that water then sitting in the bottom of this pot cover and, and a lot of the roots will rot. So take it out of the pot cover, plunge it in the kitchen sink. This plant probably once a week, once a fortnight, depending on how warm it is. Um, and the same with other houseplants as well. Once they've drained on the draining board, pop them back in the pot cover and enjoy them. And in the meantime, cut back to the bud up there.